Chmucha, they call it. It's kind of some people are scared of it because um, of superstition. Um, and um, but this is not an ancient thing. This is a, a kind of a recent thing. Probably within the past several hundred years, this is, the people have been doing this. This is not an old thing. And it, it's based on the concept of visualization. Visualization is something that I promote um, in a healthy way. Um, sometimes you hear me say that you know, take take some several minutes each day, sometime you know, where you have have a free time, and uh, and to you know, find some place private. And, and you know, close your eyes or whatever, and just visualize uh, how you'd like your life to be. Where would you like to be in the future? You know. <laughs> and um, and do that in a healthy way. You know, don't don't be saying. Uh, between a Big Mac and a Whopper. <laughs> don't need much money to accomplish that, yeah? So, no, I don't mean that. No, I mean in your life, yeah? And how would you like your life to be? And now, don't talk about materialism either. That's not what I'm saying either, you know? A big car and big house and whatever. As long as it's not materialistic, as long as it doesn't place you above others, you know, because, again, that's leading to duality. Yeah, that's why I talk about that a lot. Um, so just, you know, in your life, you know, um, just take some time to visualize it and then act like you're there in the future. You know, act like, in your mind, do this all in your mind. Just act, you know, visualize that you, you're doing this and that, and and make it something that's realistic. Yeah, don't visualize yourself flying around from <laughs> faster than a speeding bullet. And <laughs> that's that's heading to fantasy land there, and that's not where I want you to go. <laughs> So you just and then just and, and enjoy, yeah, enjoy that, and uh, take some time to to just enjoy it. And those are very real emotions. And you're, what you're doing is you're making a connection to the future for a time, and it's feeding you. It's giving you medicine. You're receiving medicine from the future when you're doing this. Then after after that, come back to the present moment. But you have to make sure you're there. When you're coming back, you listen to everything that's going on around you right now. And whatever is happening, like right now, there's, there's nothing in my neighborhood. It's kind of in this suburby kind of place. So I shouldn't say suburbs because there's a huge shopping center. We're very close and a bunch of restaurants. So I just say, you know, in nature, there is a park in the middle, you know, between me and these places. So it's quiet, basically. And uh, and so you just, you know, come back. Just listen to everything that's happening. The computer noise, the hard drive is is making noise. and, and and uh, maybe somebody's coming into the building or cars driving by. Just follow that sound and then and then to the next sound comes, yeah? And just slowly, 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 slowly. Take, uh, take, really do some br- deep breathing if, you can, if your body can handle it. And, um, uh, you know, like that. And uh, slowly get to the right now. Uh, to the right now. One moment went by. There it goes. There's another one. There it goes. There it goes. There it goes. And just really focus on your breathing. Listen to yourself, you know. Uh, even if you think you're breathing funny, you know, go ahead and laugh and then continue to pay attention to it. Uh, focus on that. 
and um, do that for a few minutes. And open your eyes and look around. You came back. You're back from the future. <laughs> really? Yeah, you are. Now you're in the present moment and you just got some medicine from the future. Hey, let's get the ball rolling here. That's visualization in a healthy way. Okay? Now, we can also do this without even knowing it. That's why we have to be careful. Yeah? Uh, like when, when people say, eh, gee, nothing good ever happens to me. And, gee, you know, like that. That's, that's setting the ball in motion to go down that alley. And it's going to happen. Yes, nothing good ever will happen to you. And if it does, it'll be by by chance, yeah? <laughs> so you see, you're influencing it, though. You're influencing blessings away when you're doing it, when you think like that. And that's low self-esteem. So that's why this living in a healthy way that I explained in the first hour of the show, this is how you build up your self-esteem, your confidence, your self-worth. Your talents. You don't have uh, insecurities. Yeah? And you're not afraid of them. Because uh, you, you know how to make it work for you. So when you're living this way, this is, this is you know, you, you, um, you'll catch yourself when... when um, you know, something happened. Maybe it's just not your day, you know. And uh, so you, But you catch yourself saying, okay, I'm right in the middle of a cake being made here. <laughs> a cool analogy from yesterday. And so just hang on, yeah. I mean, the cake's not done yet. And just don't do anything because you might make the cake worse, yeah. You might put some pepper in there instead of sugar. So you don't want that or salt. So, um, you just take it easy. Huh? Just take it easy. Just relax and do something that you do like doing. And as long as it doesn't involve too much movement, because <laughs> you don't want to twist your ankle or anything either. Yeah. So um, not that bad. I mean, it's okay. I just be careful. That's all. And um, and then you slowly start coming up, coming around again. Yeah. But if you stay on the unhealthy way of thinking then you're actually wishing for unhealthy things to come to you that's the visualization too huh now think about that see this is this is one way i know that our that our ancestors um were losing their healthy way of living before the Europeans even got the idea to come this direction. It's through this concept of chmucha. In the Lakota Star Knowledge, it says nothing about chmucha. This is to wish something bad to happen to others, even to the point of, you know, trying to do magic spells and and um, you know things like that black magic and so forth and Lakota star knowledge this didn't exist the reason why is because people lived healthy lives but we started to fall within the past several hundred years this is before the Vikings came to Canada this is before anything so maybe could be even a thousand years old old yeah, this is really, really not a, a ancient concept. It's an, it's kind of an old concept, but it's not ancient. That means it was created by man. This is not created by nature. This violates laws of nature. So this is about wishing something bad to happen to somebody. Now, there's a lot of fake medicine men, even on the reservation where people will go there and they'll say, oh, there's a powwow coming up and I want to win. Yeah, I want to win that dance contest. So can you make something bad happen to that guy who always wins? 
So you give the medicine man a whole bunch of money, and then he comes up with this alleged spell to to do something to influence that guy to maybe break his leg or something, so he can't dance. Yeah. Now, when you go like that, see, you're visualizing it. You're when you're wishing for this, you're it's really you're visualizing it, and you're actually playing a role in trying to make it happen. You don't need any magical, uh, you uh, whatever to do that. That's called you know that's the power of suggestion. That's highly involved with that. And people, like I said, remember yesterday I, I said there's a lot of people in this world that really have high ta levels. That's the way it was back then, too. So people would 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 do this, really believing it, and therefore influencing it. Maybe it didn't happen the way they wanted it to happen, but Something happened. But see, here's the kicker. Lakota Star Knowledge teaches, remember I said this before, how you communicate returns to you four times as strong. Whatever that is you're sending out in your communication, whatever that is, if it's healthy, if it's unhealthy, it doesn't matter which one it is. Whatever it is, it's coming back four times as strong. So when you wish for something bad to happen to others, it's going to come back to you four times as strong. Even if you try to do these magical uh, casting of spells that's going to come back to you four times as strong now on the other side there's another another way to look at this too being on the other side and saying somebody must be wishing for something bad to happen to me because nothing is going right I can't even sleep. Somebody must be se sending me a bad medicine because it's keeping me awake. Again, that might not even be the case. But you're wishing for it to be the case. You're wishing for somebody to hurt you. What does that say? Does somebody is is let me let me ask it like this if somebody wishes for somebody to hurt them are they healthy hell no if somebody is saying oh they must be sending um a bad bad medicine to me that's why nothing is going right in my life. Number one, that person is showing that they're not taking responsibility for their life because they want to blame blame everything that goes wrong on somebody else. They don't want to take responsibility for it. Lakota Star Knowledge says that no matter what comes to you in your life, if it's a blessing, you enjoy it. If it's a difficulty, you make the best of it, you learn from it, and you gain knowledge and wisdom and peace, and now you're ready to help others with that. But if you, but if you blame others and say, oh, somebody, somebody must be chmuhaying me. If you're, if you're talking like that, you're missing the boat. You're pushing away blessings and you would rather feel pain than peace you would rather think 
that this this difficult thing that's happening is because of somebody else, that somebody wants to hurt you. So what you're saying is you're wanting somebody to hurt you. Mea culpa, yeah? This is this is a Catholic way of thinking here. This is really unhealthy. Now, there's something wrong with you if you think like that. Because you want you want your feelings to be justified that somebody's hurting you. And be the and the I the idea behind that is that you want to be hurt. Therefore, you're wishing for it. That is a visualization. And it will happen. But it's not because of somebody. It's because of you. You sent it out. When you wish for somebody to hurt you, or you you want to blame somebody for all the things that are going wrong in your life, what you're doing is you're sending out an unhealthy energy and that's coming back to you to hurt you four times stronger. That's visualization. See, when people you know, say, oh, somebody must be hurting me. Somebody must be sending me. You know, somebody must be hmuhaing me. When somebody's talking like that or thinking like that, that shows you they don't know the Lakota way. That shows you they don't know this natural law of generosity called Wawokia. They don't know it. They don't understand it. That's unhealthy. It's not the Lakota way. That's not the human way. That's not that's not a healthy way at all. Huh? People really try to do this thing, but when you think about it, it, it doesn't even make sense because it assumes that people... Uh, cannot do anything for themselves. And to think like that shows lack of respect to all people, to all creation. To bewitch somebody, to cast a spell on somebody. Makoto Starnal, it says that that is an illusion to control and when you cannot get your way, then you blame somebody else for trying to control you. It's still an illusion. And remember, reality begins in the mind. So when you think like this, see, it's going to come out. And it's not somebody else hurting you, it's you hurting you. You brought upon your own physical pain. You brought upon your own mental pain, your own spiritual pain, your own emotional pain. You brought it yourself because you're visualizing in an unhealthy way. You're bringing it to pass. The only people who cannot protect themselves are mentally ill and emotionally ill. They're the only ones who can't protect themselves. So they do need something. They do need some kind of a medicine. Yeah? But see, they don't they don't even know it's happening. But if you know the word chmucha, you don't need that medicine. You can fix yourself. Yeah, so if if you if you know this concept of chmucha, and you know what that means, you know to bewitch, you know to 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 wish something bad to happen to somebody else. If you, you know, if you know it like that, then you don't need a lucky charm. You don't need that because the protection is already inside of you. It's just that you are communicating away from your sacred center. And this is causing you or influencing you to communicate like a crazy person. Yeah, so you always have to remember that uh, people who 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 talk like this, that say, you know, that oh, they must be wishing somebody must be 
wishing for something bad to happen to me. So I'm going to go see a medicine man to find out who's sending, who's trying to hurt me like this. Now, when you do that, you're giving up control of your life. You're, give, you're, you're, you're becoming even more irresponsible to yourself. And you're traveling further away from your sacred center when you talk like that. Now anything can hurt you. Because you open the doors. Yeah? You open the... Nobody didn't even knock, but you open the doors and you said, Jehovah Witnesses and Mormons, come on in. <laughs> You even put a sign on the door telling them to come in. That's what you do when you can't take responsibility for yourself. I know a person who, this is what she thought. Unfortunately, this was a nice lady other other than this concept. She was a nice lady. And she honest to goodness thought that somebody was trying to hurt her. So she went from medicine man to medicine man to medicine man. Each medicine man said it was a different person trying to hurt her. And she started to get sick. Yeah, She got sicker. Every time she went to another medicine man to find out who's trying to hurt her, she would end up getting more sick. And every medicine man told her it was a different person. And she went to South America and went to see some medicine men down there. Again, they all told her different people and she continued to get sicker until she died. Never knowing who really sent this to her. The reality is, nobody did. She made herself sick. She 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 went away from herself, and it got to her immune system, and her immune system got knocked out. She knocked out her own immune system by giving up control of her life like this, by not taking responsibility. This is an extreme example. This is a true story that happened. And then she died. That is really sad. And the fact that all these medicine men were telling her something different told me that these medicine men were not real. They were fake. Because the real one would have told her, okay, this is what you need to do. You need to start, you know, Start taking responsibility for your life. And maybe one said that, and she didn't like it. Because she wanted wanted it to be that it was somebody, somebody else, that was the problem, that, that was the source of all her problems. Which means she wasn't willing to accept responsibility. See, I always say something every day. It does not matter where, when difficulties come to you in your life, it doesn't matter where they came from. Your responsibility is to work that out. And when you do that, that's you're sending out a healthy energy. That is your protection. Even if something does try to harm you, you already you put your own lucky charm out by living a healthy life. So you don't need no grandma, grandpa or or, or descendant of chief so and so to you know, to, to say, Oh, they, they, they you have a lucky charm and stuff like that. That that you don't need that. That's how little kids talk in the playground. This is how that works, yeah. This is uh um this this whole concept is you have to go beyond it and and then when you realize that then you realize that 
the khmugha is a way to communicate in a very unhealthy way. It's taking the it 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 violates the free will of other people. And that's not possible. The only way that can happen is when you give it up yourself. That's the only way it can happen. I know a, a, a relative of mine who married a man from Canada back in the 1980s. And then he ended up, they're both powwow people. Eh? He ended up cheating on her left and right. And and and, and she got, uh, he, she didn't know it though, yeah? And uh, she she got sick one time, so she went to a medicine man. She, and he, she wanted to know, who's who's sending this? Who's doing this to me? And here he said, it's your husband. He used a, a medicine against you to capture you, yeah, and and uh, also to capture other women, and so she believed it, and uh, this shows a lack of responsibility, which is irresponsibility. That wasn't the case. Yeah, like attracts like. Unhealthiness attracts unhealthiness. Yeah, victims attract people who deceive them. So, even if you're taken in, if you're healthy, you can tell when somebody's deceiving you. Then you break off. Yeah, that's that. Something like that happened to me in my life. I I, I recognized it right away after uh, working with this one guy. I realized that. Um, there was something going on in the background, and I checked it out, and sure enough, he was he was uh, deceiving me. So I ended my business uh, relationship with that guy immediately because I know he I realized he was stealing money. Yeah, but he really came across as a friendly guy, really a nice guy, and it turned out he's a con man. But I I caught it fast, so I was able to get out of it. Yeah, because he knew what to say, he knew all the right things to say. Uh, to establish a business um, cooperation, and it turned out he was lying. So, um, but I learned. Yeah, I learned from that. So now, when I when I do business transactions to, of that nature, I ask more questions to make sure this is the this is the real deal, or you know, then I can usually tell. So. You learn from it, yeah. So do you see what I mean? I didn't. I didn't go around saying, "Yeah, see, somebody sent me bad medicine, so I wonder who that was." I didn't do that. I took responsibility, and I, I looked at what happened, at the situation, and what this guy did. I got all my facts together, and I confronted him, and, he, and he, I caught him. So I I took responsibility, and he, the deception stopped. I ended it. That's what I mean. You you don't worry about these kind of things as long as you are living a healthy life. That's your protection. Difficulties are a part of life. Even if somebody tries to send something to you, you don't worry about that because natural law says that that's going to that's going to bounce off you. You don't need a medicine bag or you know some kind of pouch or lucky charm or whatever. You don't need that. If you're living a healthy life, that energy pushes that kind of thing away. It goes back to the person four times as strong. The only people who need to be wearing wearing um, medicine pouches or medicine bags are people who are mentally and or emotionally hurting, is sick, diseased, because they can't they can't protect themselves like this. So if you're if you're walking around with a medicine bag around your neck, you must be mentally diseased or emotionally diseased. And if you're not, guess what you're doing? You're setting yourself above others. So you're being dualistic. So the just the very act of wearing that medicine pouch when you don't need it, you're being an oppressor. Which means that whatever you send out is really unhealthy. And that's going to return to you four times as strong. 
and mess you up. And that bag, it's not working. Because that only works for people who are mentally and or emotionally ill. That's Lakota star knowledge. That's from the ancestors. I don't ask that you agree with me. I just ask that you think about it. That's all. Okay? Okay.